Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you Cancer? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Let's see what's going on in your love life. Let's see what is unfolding before you. Spirits, what are the messages for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month remaining of February 2021? Okay. First card here, Cancer. You have the Queen of Wands, maybe dealing with fire energy. Aries, Sagittarius, um, Leo type of energy. Okay. Second card here is the Two of Wands. Okay. So this is how you're viewing your partner, the current situation that you're dealing with in regards to love and romance. I do want to let you know, Cancer, for those of you guys that are trying to set up private consultations, now is the time to go ahead and contact us through email as we are opening up and scheduling now for March and April. Uh, so just letting you guys know. Okay. All right. Your next card here is the Two of Pentacles. All right, Cancers. I see you very empowered, Cancer. I feel that for some of you guys, there may be some type of lack of clarity. Um, you may be feeling a little bit confused in regards to uh, this connection or in regards to this relationship. Uh, Queen of Wands usually indicates uh, feeling very confident in yourself or uh, assertive in what you're doing. But with the Two of Swords here, uh, it speaks about having the lack of clarity or not wanting to make a move, not wanting to make a decision. Uh, there could be some fears involved here. There could be some things that you feel are not completely open or transparent. Some things may be hidden from you. With the Two of Pentacles, there is a need for balance. There is a need for emotional stability. You may be dealing with a energy that may be very passing, come and going. Um, you may be dealing with not knowing exactly where this connection is going or for some of you guys <clears throat> not understanding if in fact uh, this person is willing to give you the commitment or the stability that you're looking for in regards to this connection. Now your partner's cards here is the King of Pentacles. Could be dealing with Earth energy as well. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo type of energy. King of Pentacles could represent um, them being very concerned or focused in their finances. Uh, this could be an individual that perhaps you feel like there is no clarity or like there hasn't been any type of communication. Uh, with the King of Pentacles coming out, it represents that they currently have some type of focus, some type of priority that is not the relationship or this connection. Uh, it could be that they are focused in their finances. It could be that they are um, trying to be on the pursuit of some type of goal or some type of aspiration in regards to the material sense. With the Seven of Pentacles here, yeah, I definitely see them being very, very much consumed. Um, it's almost like financial stability or financial... Uh, I feel that there's lack of... A financial clarity here for them. Um, it could be that they are uh, on the pursuit of creating some type of financial stability. It could be that uh, for some of you guys, especially those of you guys that are currently dealing with this type of person uh, or with this connection, I feel that they're not fully investing in this relationship because they are trying to find some type of financial stability in their life. It could be that in the past there was some type of lack um, lack of finances. It could be that they feel right now that they cannot give a relationship the stability because they feel like they have to work through finding their financial stability. So you may be dealing with earth energy or you may be dealing with the person that if they're not financially stable, they'd rather not commit or they'd rather not uh, give too much priority to relationships. It's almost like there is something about safety here that is that I'm hearing. So it could be that um, they feel in order to be able to give some type of stability in regards to relationships, they have to feel like they are financially stable. 
or like they are, they don't have, you know, strains and worries when it comes to finances. And I think that that's, that's on the path that they're on right now. Now we also have here the seven of wands and the seven of wands is being guarded. I feel that for some of you guys, you may have started this connection or you may have started um, <clears throat> this partnership very like you were the center of their, you know, their attention, like their attention was definitely towards you with the queen of wands. They seen you as, um, you know, a very confident, very beautiful. Um, it's almost like they admired something about you. But with the two of swords, um, there is a feeling of not knowing exactly what went wrong or why did we get to this point of perhaps for some of you guys there's no communication while for others it could be communication but it's like very forced and and you're questioning or wondering if you should walk out of this connection if you should give up if you should continue pursuing um and i honestly see them as being extremely guarded they're working on themselves we have two sevens here so they are on a some type of spiritual journey um, they are, they're working on themselves is, is basically what I'm hearing right here. It's like they're working on themselves and they're wanting to create some type of stability. Now, this could be not just necessarily with you, Cancer, that they feel this way. I feel that they're just not really entertaining romance right now because they want to work on themselves. They want to feel like they are financially stable or like they don't have to be constantly worrying about financial issues. And I think that that's where they're at right now. And that could be the reason why uh, they're not coming to you as quickly as you would want or they're not communicating as much as you would want. Uh, Seven of Wands can also f represent being extremely guarded. So I feel that this person... Um, could have potentially wanted something long-term with you, but something about you has either tested them or has made them realize that they have to, you know, get out of that, like come at you the right way. And I feel that that's exactly what they're doing. They're working on themselves to find that stability to be able to give to you what you deserve. Okay, I hope that makes sense. All right, let me see what is the energy that you're going to be taking on for the rest of February. What action should Cancer take moving forward? Okay, yeah, we have the hanged man here. So what they're telling you is make no action at the present time, Cancer. I feel that you have perhaps try to pursue this connection what they're telling you is that there is a time for you uh, right at this very moment to take a step back to refocus your energy on yourself to refocus your energy on exactly what it is that you expect from a partnership the hanged man is not just about taking some time to contemplate it also represents the need once you take the time to take a step back, to take a breather, to work on other aspects of your life other than love, you're gonna come out of this hanged man position enlightened. You're gonna come out of this position of repose with a different perspective. Perhaps you won't view the situation the way you view it anymore. Perhaps you decide you don't want to continue pursuing this connection. But there is a time and a need for you to pull away from this connection. It's almost like for some of you guys, it could be the trying to force this connection. And I feel that their energy is definitely towards wanting to achieve or wanting to pursue uh, some type of growth. Uh, for others, it could represent that they're trying to come out of some type of past connection. It kind of like the syndrome of I've been broken up, but I'm still hopeful about the past type of energy. That could be the reason why they're not emotionally available to you right now. 
So again, it could be that taking this time away, you're not communicating or working or refocusing your energy. You're going to come out seeing things from a very different perspective for some of you guys. It could be that within this time frame, this person shows you that they are in fact vibrating to the highest frequency of the King of Pentacles, which is a trustworthy individual, a person that is worth pursuing. While for others, the negative aspect of the King of Pentacles could be a bit stubborn, um, a bit narcissistic, very, very material oriented, um, and realizing that perhaps they're not worth your time or they're not worth you waiting for someone to make up their mind about if they want to continue pursuing this relationship or not, okay? Let's see what is the energy that the target is going to be taking on for the rest of February. What energy are they coming to you or towards you with? Okay, and we have the Six of Cups. Okay. So yeah, I feel that for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a person that could be stuck on the past with the Seven of Pentacles. It could be a person that either has children with someone from the past. They're trying to figure that out could be the reason why they're speaking about finances here. For others of you, it could just represent that this person is taking on the energy of looking or wanting to revisit the past. Could be that you decide to pull away from this connection and that's the motivation that they need to be able to move forward, to try to chase you. Again, if you can see here in this connection, there's a person right here in the background watching over them, trying to guide them. So again, I feel that for some of you guys, you're going to see things from a very different perspective. Take the time. Don't try to force this cancer. Don't try to rush it. Let things unfold the way they're supposed to. Okay, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope it gives you some type of insight or clarity, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.